We have to subtract four hours forty minutes from five hours thirty minutes. Now here is a tricky question. We have to subtract hours from hours. Subtracting four from five, we are left with one hour. But we have to subtract forty minutes from thirty minutes. Now here's something to learn. If the minutes to be subtracted are more than minutes from which we have to subtract, add sixty minutes to the minutes from which we have to subtract, and subtract one from hours. Add sixty to thirty, and the minutes will become ninety. And subtract one from hours, so the time duration will remain the same. It will be four hours and ninety minutes. Now you can subtract minutes from minutes. Now subtracting hours, we get four minus four equals zero hours. Now subtracting minutes, ninety minus forty. Equals fifty minutes. Our answer is fifty minutes. Now let's take another example. We have to subtract five hours thirty minutes from seven hours and twenty minutes. While subtracting time, we have to subtract hours from hours and minutes from minutes. But here we have to subtract thirty minutes from twenty minutes. So what we do in such cases is add sixty minutes to the minutes from which we have to subtract, and subtract one from hours. That is, subtract one from seven. It will be six hours, and add sixty minutes. It will be eighty minutes. So it won't change the time. It will be six hours and eighty minutes. Which is same as seven hours and twenty minutes, but we can easily subtract five hours and thirty minutes from six hours and eighty minutes. Subtracting five hours from six hours, we get one hour, and subtracting thirty minutes from eighty minutes, we get fifty minutes. So our answer is one hour fifty minutes. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye bye.